Hey guys, Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 survival horror game series. And in today's video, we're going to be continuing on with our inventory system. And more specifically, we're going to be showing you how to start setting up a little discard, uh, discard interaction for your inventory system. So what this is going to allow you to do is it's going to allow you to press control to discard an item and then you click it and it will throw it down onto the ground and you know the player can you know use it to either empty out their inventory a little bit more or they can also use it to you know j j just get rid of it really um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a simple little system for this basically what we're gonna do is when the player presses control it's going to activate discarding and whenever they click on a button on their inventory then with the mouse shower uh, mouse cursor only showing when they're discarding when they click it it will throw it off into the distance anyway so let's make a start on this we'll go over the UI side of things first and then after that we once we've got all the buttons set up we will start working on the functionality in the next video so just a heads up for those of you that haven't actually uh, that aren't up to date with the uh, you know the series and you're not up to date with the survival horror game I definitely advise that you go ahead and check it out in the thumbnail in the top part of the screen also if you haven't watched the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series I also advise you go ahead and check that out so you can easily understand and follow along exactly what we're doing also, if you haven't got the latest version of the heads up display, I definitely advise you go ahead and download it in the download link in the description. So let's start working on things. So the first thing I want to do is actually quickly add in a little bit of text onto the heads up display so the player knows that they can actually start discarding items. And what we also need to do is set up a key binding so when they press control, it's actually going to start moving, you know, displaying the mouse cursor. And it's also going to allow us to click stuff and it's going to stop moving everything else, you know, the game because we don't particularly want that. So let's go ahead and show you exactly how we can do all of this. So I'm going to get rid of this real quick and I'm going to, uh, uh, sorry, I'm going to open up my heads up display widget as that's got all of the graphical side of things. And before I do go into the functionality, I just want to quickly add a piece of text in there just so the player knows exactly what to do if they want to get rid of an item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a little text uh, text here and under the content I'm just going to call this, uh, yeah I'm just going to type in CTRL to discard. Now you can, you know, make this be whatever you want but for me I'm just going to chuck it as this and I'm going to make sure that I anchor it to the bottom center just so it doesn't go flying about and it stays just above the action bar uh, which is also anchored to the bottom center. So I'm going to quickly also change the font, it's really simple. And then I'm going to drag it in and I'm going to move it there and hopefully it is mostly centered. So it's a little bit off so I'm going to drag it here. There we are and I'm going to compile and I'm going to press play and we're going to see how that looks. So that looks alright, I'm going to move it up a little bit but let's actually get onto the functionality side of things now. So what I need to do is I need to set up some buttons. Now we can't actually use on click events with these images, it's just the way the engine works. So what we need to do is we need to put some buttons on here and we need to make these buttons invisible. And then with these buttons we can create the on clicked event and we can set up the functionality for showing the you know the mouse cursor or whatever, you know, showing the mouse cursor and clicking it and discarding the item. So let's go ahead and add in a few buttons. So I'm going to make sure I add in five of these. So I'm just going to quickly drag them out. One, two, three, four, and lastly, number five. And I'm just going to chuck these in here. And I'm also going to make sure that I name these too. And I'm also going to make sure they capture the whole inventory image so the player, you know, is pressing the right thing. So what the player is going to do with these is whenever they click an item, it's just going to throw it out. Um, but that's only going to be when discarding is active. So it's probably best I go over the discarding uh, side of things now, you know, showing you how to press control to start discarding things. So the way we're going to do this is each time the player presses the button, we're going to run a check to see whether or not discarding is active. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to toggle discarding on and off using the control key. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you how you can do that. So we've got our buttons there. I'll make them invisible in a minute for you. But for now, let's go into the project settings and actually set up the input for it. So I'm going to add an input and down here, I'm just going to add an action mapping 
and I'm going to call this toggle discard. And under the uh, the key, I'm just going to use control, uh, sorry, keyboard, and then CTRL, CTRL, and we're just going to use left control for now. And I'm also going to set one up for right control, just in case anyone's a little bit picky. So left control, right control, that should work perfectly fine for us. So the next thing we need to do then is we actually need to create a variable inside of the third person character so that the engine actually knows whether or not discard is going to be active or not. So I'm going to create a new variable and because we're working with a true or false, um, you know, data type, we're going to work with a boolean and this is going to give us true or false. And I'm going to call that, and I'm going to call this, um, discard active. And I'm going to make sure that the default value is going to be untrue or false. And now what we need to do is pretty much do a flip flop with the control key to pretty much turn it off and on for discard. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in toggle discard. And that's our action mapping uh, that we just created. So whenever the player presses the left control or the right control, it's going to fire off whatever we do here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a flip flop node. And what this flip flop node is going to do, it's essentially going to alternate between A and B. So at first it's going to do A, and then it's going to do B, and it's going to go A, and so on and so on, it's, uh, and so on and so forth. It's brilliant if you want to toggle things on and off, and that's pretty much what we're going to do. So what I'm going to do is set discard active, and we're just going to set this to true for A, and we're going to set it to untrue for B. Okay, there we go. That is perfect. And I'm also going to quickly run a quick print string on both of these just to make sure that we can test these are actually working. So not discarding and discarding over here. And hopefully with our action mapping now, this should all work perfectly for us. So not, so that should just be discarding, not, not, dis, not discarding. Okay, it's a bit of a tongue twister, but anyway, let's press play and see what happens when we press the control key now. So you can see it's going on and off in the top left hand corner, which is just brilliant. Our buttons are a little bit off because we haven't anchored them, but that is a easy fix. So let's get back into here and add in a few other bits of functionality. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to disconnect these print strings real quick. So I'm just going to control click. There you are. I'm going to do the same thing for here. And there we are. And whenever we do this, uh, turn on discard, we need to show the mouse cursor. And the way to do that is to cast to the third person controller or whatever your controller is. So cast to player controller. There you are. And as the object wildcard, just type in get player controller. And now as the player character, what we need to do now is set show mouse cursor and this is just going to pretty much turn the mouse cursor on and off for us and now we've got to do the same thing over here on the you know toggling it off so we need to make sure it doesn't show the mouse cursor anymore and it's the same way we're just communicating with the player controller um, for those of you that don't know what the player controller is it's pretty much like the blueprint that controls all of the uh, you know control behavior for the character so now that we've got this Let's go ahead and hook that up, hook that up, and hopefully now it should all work for us. So give it a, let's give it a go. I'm gonna hook this up here, and I'm gonna compile it and see what happens. So I can see there's, uh, one second, is it already a player controller? You don't need to cast to play. Okay, let's have a quick look what's going on here. So the return, return value is already a player controller. Okay, so I'm not too sure what's going on here. I'm just going to quickly delete these and hope for the best. So let's just quickly compile that and just give it a go to see what happens. Hopefully it should all work out for us. So I'm going to press play and I'm going to press control. Not discarding, not discarding. And it doesn't seem to be working for some reason. So we've got to go and see what's going on here. Why is it set to note discarding? Okay, now it is. It's all good. There you are. You can see my text was wrong here, and I also need to make sure that I actually select show mouse cursor on the first one. So I'm going to compile that, and I'm going to give it another go. So I'm going to press play, 
I'm going to press control. The mouse is now showing and we can actually go ahead and play the press the buttons if we want to. And if I press control again, it gets rid of the mouse cursor and we are back in the game. So that's pretty much everything that I wanted to do in this video. Um, in the next video, we're going to be showing you how to actually click the button and actually show you how to project the item out of the player, so throw it off into the distance. And I'm also going to show you how to pause the game when they're trying to discard an item just so the player doesn't start moving about and you know being relatively annoying really so thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video goodbye